Hey everyone, this is Mei Yu. Welcome to Tutorial Thursday. Today I'm starting a new Fun to Draw anime manga drawing series. Want to learn how to draw this beautiful manga girl? Follow me step by step now to turn simple lines into this complete character with her cute hairstyle and dress. Alright, first let's start with the side of her face. So I'll take my pen, I'll dot the spot right around there. And then from this area, I'll draw a line going down. And then I'll curve slightly for the cheek on this area. Right here. And then I'm going down towards a cute pointy little chin. Okay, so right around here. Now to make the chin pointy, I just want to go back up towards the cheek on the other side. Like that. Okay, so once we have the outline of the face, let's go into the facial details. The nose can be just a small little cute nose like that. Lots of anime manga girls have noses like this. So it's very cute. And for the mouth, maybe let's make her like a shy character. So let's make the mouth just smiling like that. It's not a very big smile, but it's a sweet little smile. And a little dot underneath to represent the bottom part of the lip. Now for her eyebrows and eyes, let's go up here. I'll draw the eyebrow as a curve like that. I'll make it a little bit thicker near the top part. There we go. Make that a little bit longer. And for the other eyebrow, let's just draw the same thing but facing the other way. Okay. Now for her beautiful manga eyes. So for this tutorial, I'm going to make the eyes like this. I'll draw a curve, and this is for the top part of the eye. I'll make it a little bit darker. So it stands out. At this corner, let's add a nice pretty eyelash like a curved triangle. Okay. And as for the actual eye inside, I'll take my pen, draw a little curve coming down this part of the eye. Like that. And then go back up here and draw another curve. Like that. Okay, once we have that, let's draw the bottom part of the eye as a thin line. Just right around there. Okay, once we have the shape, let's go into the details in the eye. For example, the highlight. Let's draw a big oval right there. And let's draw another highlight on the bottom part of the eye. This time will be a little bit different. It'll be something special. I'll make the shape into a heart. That is so adorable. If you see my new Fun to Draw super cute drawing series, I have the cute little heart-shaped highlights in my character's eyes, but they're at the top. For this manga character, I'll put it at the bottom. Okay, and next comes the pupil, which is just a dark oval behind everything else. Okay. She looks super cute. So we have one eye all done. Let's make this side a little bit thicker. Okay. For the other side, I'll draw something similar. So just start with the thick upper eyelid. Like that. Add the triangular eyelash at the corner. Alright, now for this part of the eye, just go down as a curve, and then go down as another curve, like that, and draw the bottom part. The bottom line is going to be thinner than the top side. Okay. 
Okay, now the highlights. So we have the oval and a cute little heart at the bottom plus the pupil underneath. Okay, so we have this pretty girl's face all done. Now for her hairstyle. I like to draw a cute bow for her first. So let's draw the bow right around here. For this side, I'll draw a little rounded triangle. And then I'll draw another one facing the other way to complete the bow. And to make the bow look soft, add some wrinkles. Okay, now we're ready for the actual hairstyle. So let's start behind this part of the bow. I'll draw a piece of hair coming down towards the center of her face. And then I'll make it like a little triangle shape. And it's okay if it goes above the uh, eyebrow because I've seen lots of anime manga characters they actually have the eyebrow showing through the pieces of hair so I think that's pretty cool so I want to do something similar for today's tutorial okay let's go back up here now I want to draw another nice swooping line coming down let's make it a little bit longer make it more stylish all right so it comes down here now from this point, I want to go all the way right back up towards the top part of the head, like that. Okay, so that's like a big piece of hair in front of her face. Now for this side, I'll do something similar. So I have this line coming down, and then I'll have another line going down past the face. I'm gonna make it a little bit longer. Okay, there we go. So we have this piece of hair. Now this piece of hair goes right back up. So we'll draw it as a curve. And then let's just make the top part of the head curved as well. And then join it. Okay, so we have the major parts of her hair all done. Let's get one more little piece from the other side. And now to make this look more like hair, here's a good way. Just draw these little lines inside the hair to break up all the emptiness. Okay, so that's just adding some hair texture, which will make your drawing look more real. I want to add a little more hair on this side. Give her more volume. There we go. Okay, excellent. So we have her pretty face and her super cute little hairstyle. All done. Now for the body. Because I don't want her to look like an adult just yet, she's kind of like a preteen or a young teenager. So I'll keep the body kind of still smallish compared to her head. So her body's not going to be super tall or super developed. So this is how I'll draw it. We start with a little neck coming down, like that. And then for the shoulder, there'll be a curve. And then I'll turn this curve into the arm, which goes down like that. She'll be wearing a really cool dress where the sleeves will be wider at the bottom than the top. So the top is quite fitted. It fits around the arm very nicely. So this is how I'll draw this side of the arm. It kind of goes parallel with this line. And then as I go towards the bottom, it'll fan out. So it kind of flares out for the sleeve. So you can see it's a lot wider here. And then just draw the sleeve. I'll make the sleeve quite long, so maybe she's got her little thumb and fingers just poking out. Which I think is very cute. Okay, so we have her fingers. Now for the other side of her body. So we have the arm. For the front part of the body, 
I'll start the chest area as a curve. Okay, I'll curve out. And then I'll go back in towards the waist. So pinches in. Keep going. Pinches in a little bit more. All right, I'll stop there. Now for her back and the side, I want to draw something similar, but it's facing the other way. So this line comes down, pitch, pinches in like that, and then the line goes off and out at this angle for the dress part. So this space between the back and the arm forms a soft triangle. Okay, now onto this side. The skirt maybe is like kind of flowing nicely in the wind. So I'll draw the skirt going out like that. I'll give it some nice movement by drawing the line going around like that. So you're going to see a little bit of the inside part of the skirt, which I think is a nice touch because it really adds a lot of movement and realism to the drawing. And it makes the skirt look like it's actually fabric and it's soft and it's blowing in the wind. All right, so once we have this shape done, I like to go into the other side of the body, so the other arm. And this arm comes out like this. The other line, so it flares out at the sleeve, just like before. And just cut it. Now let's draw some little cute small fingers. Like that. For the opening in her dress, I want to design something very elegant looking. So it wraps around the shoulder, so the shoulders are bare. And then it goes into the chest, dips down, curves back up, and then goes around this arm. So it looks like a stylized Y letter V. Okay, very pretty. We're almost done the body. Let's get in her cute little legs. So for this character, she's still a young girl, like a young teenager. So I'll make the legs not too long. Let's draw this leg going down. And it'll be straight. Let's go all the way down like that. On the other side here. Go down. Curve slightly. And I do want to make this drawing more simplified, so more of you can follow along. So the shoe will be just a very simple way to draw a shoe. So just draw something like that. And then draw a little curve to indicate the actual shoe area from the leg. And you can see that the leg is not perfectly like rigid or straight up and down. I did draw a little curve to show the movement in the leg. And I think that's a really good idea if you want your characters to look more natural and more organic and less stiff. Okay, so we have the leg. And now let's draw, just for fun, I like to draw a cute little stocking. The simple little design at the top. So that's one leg. And then the other leg, I'll come down, but I want to make the pose a little bit different, so it's not too ordinary or stiff. So this leg will be slightly bent. Like that. And you can see a little bit of her shoe from the back. And then the bend in the leg, just a little bit, followed by the little stocking. Okay, one more thing I want to do. I want to draw just a little line 
like that in the dress to show that the fabric is really moving and soft and maybe another line just right at the bust area. Okay, oh she looks adorable. Let's shade in this side here, just under the chin to make the head stand out better. And that just adds more realism to your drawing too. Alright, if you want to see more videos like this, please hit that like button and subscribe so you won't miss new videos. I will see you guys every tutorial Thursday and fun Friday. Let me know how you like this series and thanks for watching. There you go.